What's up guys, it's Chibi Child, and I am doing a mod showcase on the uh, Ars Magica mod, and today I'm going to show you some things about it. So, let's get started. Um, let's do our first thing, which will be, we need to create an arcane compendium to start the whole mod. So, you're going to need to find this kind of water, it's kind of like pretty, I don't know, it, um, it'll spawn random puddles everywhere, so just find this, then you put it here, and watch the effect, and, I don't know, these are just random magical signs, I guess, so that's the arcane compendium, oops, oh, I'm in creative, so that was a little stupid, okay, so we got the book, we had to go into the menu to get it, because it's hard. Anyways, you open this up, and, oops, sorry, I was working on that, and so, bam, so you'll be able to access the Oculus, and when you access this in survival, it should have nothing, and you will have three points, right there, and so, the first time you start, you should spend your three points on projectile, uh, let's see, what's that one? touch, and dig, and those will be your things. Another thing, when you're in creative, you're not going to be able to have all of this. So, here we have all this, right? So, we can create any spells. So, if I wanted to make a zone, you know, it's just random stuff. So, the first, we're going to make the spell that you first start out with. And that should be dig. Let me just grab. The first spell you're probably going to make is dig. Most people make it touch, but I like to make it projectile. So we're going to look for projectile. you got to click and drag. You can't just click. And then search up dig. Grab the dig. And we're going to take this out. So we're going to take this. Oh. It's a little bit loud. So we're going to turn this down. Okay. So now we have our spell, and we have all these, this is all the things that you need. So now you can see why I have all this in the chest. This is all the things that we're going to need. So let's take this and move everything up. Uh, we don't need that, we do need that for a second, and this is our spell recipe. So, and then this is the reason why I made this structure right here, because this is what makes spells so you're gonna put this here and it's our first thing that we always throw all right let me see first thing you're always gonna end up throwing in first is a blank room and I don't know I guess it gets the spell started so once you do that random particles will come around see everywhere and our next thing it'll tell you right here what you need to drop in next is Ventium dust and you can find that in caves and their ore Next thing is the arrow. This is because it's a projectile spell, so arrow. And a snowball because it's a projectile spell. Orange rune because I think it's because it's a dig spell. And if you listen really closely, you can hear it going ding because that thing got sucked in. So this is the shovel. And then we have the pickaxe. And then listen up because this is what happens whenever you finish a spell. And bam. This is our dig spell. So when you first get it, you you can name it inside the crafting table or the crafting tape. Yeah, the table that we were just at. But sometimes I forgot. I forget. So next, and then we can pick all. These are just all the pictures that you can use to memorize or to know what the spell is. So I'm just gonna pick that one. And bam. And so this is a pretty nice spell. You have mana, that's what these little bars are right here and right here, uh, on the sides. And so, as you can see, you use it to dig. Yep, and you can upgrade, you can get new spells and everything. Now, I think we're going to go to bosses, and I created a spell called Ultimate Beam. It's just a very, like, hard, it, it's a good spell. So we're gonna. This is one of the first bosses. His name's the Nature Guardian, and so the what you have to do to summon him is kill five dreads 
in a row in between 20 seconds and he'll end up coming. I guess it's kind of like uh, him like protecting the Dreyath. But I'm going to kill him and then I will show you what you can get from him. I'll show you. So you can only kill these guys with, uh, what do you call it? You can only kill these guys with spells. You can't kill them with anything else. I'm getting a little laggy because he's a big boss, I guess. Here, let me change it back today. I imagine. Okay. We don't want any other mobs spawning. Yeah. Uh, it's really laggy. Well, you, I think you guys get the gist. It's just you kill him, and then it's no, like, special effects or anything. It just kills him. Let me turn this back. To <laughs> Alright. Okay, so, yeah. I think that's, you guys are just, um, I think I'm going to kill this one too, just because she didn't, everybody else got killed. Anyways, um, so, there are things that you can get from killing each boss. I'm going to show you a few of them right here. So, we have the water orbs, we have antenna of the fire guardian, we have earth armor, we have air sled, and we have winter's grass. So, let me grab... Iron Golem, and then this is Winter's Grass. It's basically it's the arm from the Winter Guardian, I think his name is. And you throw it and pull him. The it pulls any mob, hits them and pulls them towards you. And it's I think it's pretty neat. It's not the best, doesn't do the best damage, but it does. I guess ten damage is pretty nice. Uh, we next we have the Air Sled, and so you take it, drop it down right here. And bam. And it really is just something to fly on. It's it's really cool. I really like it. And, uh, yeah. So, next thing is the Earth Armor. And the Earth Armor is really good. It's, like, some of the best armor in this mod. I think it is the best armor in this mod. And so, you're always going to be like this. It's it's really cool looking, too. And whenever you hold something, it, dis it makes your arm disappear. And you always have something. Next, we're going to see the antenna of the Fire Guardian. So, I don't know if this is armor. Yeah, it's armor. Um, let's put this on. And I don't remember what this does, but it does look really weird. Oh, uh, let me look at my face. Yeah. Uh, I based my character kind of off magic and everything. Then the water orbs. I think these are for chest plate. No, legs. And these, I think they. Hold on, let me get off this. Oh, let's go back to first person. Pretty sure these like help you whenever you're in water. I think. Let me see. Yeah, water breathing, and you should be able to like just breathe underwater. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it lasts forever, or it doesn't. Yeah, it replenishes every single time. So make sure you can breathe underwater. I think they do other things too, but that's all I really remember from that. And, um, hold on, there's one more item I think I forgot to grab. Let me see, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> forgot this. This is what you get from the Nature Guardian. It's the Nature Scythe, and it's pretty cool. If I was in, or in survival when I was fighting the Guardian, you would have seen that when you throw it, it gra it shoot just throws it. It's pretty cool. It throws back to you. I don't know. Let me see how many how much damage it does normally. Forty seven. Yeah, that's it's all right damage. So that was about three. So or four. And then we throw this, and then it was at thirty nine before. What are we at now? Yeah, that's all right damage. It does pretty good damage. So that's all that. That's a lot for this mod. There's a lot more things and stuff like that. There's teleporters and stuff like that. There's a lot, a lot of spells that you can just by looking in here you can see. And, um, yeah. I think that's all for today. Um, I'll see you next time.
All right. Bye. Hey, there, 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 there.